Grade 8 Math, number 5.3e, Contrasting Linear versus Nonlinear Data. Bivariate data, as we said in the last video, is data that's made up of two paired variables. Bi means two, and variate means random variables. If the relationship between the variables is linear, then the rate of change, that slope, is constant. We'll see a nice pretty line going slowly up. If the graph shows a nonlinear relationship, then the rate of change varies between the points. It won't be a constant rate of change, and the slope will vary. It might even curve, okay? So Lisa is buying a house and has a choice of two mortgages. A is a 30-year fixed rate mortgage with an annual percentage rate, an APR, of 4.7%. And B is a 5-1 adjustable rate mortgage. That's called an ARM, and it's at 3.6% annual percentage rate. Now, an ARM is a loan, it's an, it's an adjustable rate mortgage loan that has a fixed rate for five years, it could be seven years, and this adjustable rate after that amount of years is going to change, and it'll go up and down each year. It could change up or down, it could keep going up for years, or it could go down one year and up three years. It's adjustable, it keeps changing. So we're going to compare the rates of change in graphs for the two different mortgages, okay? So here we have a table of values, and here we have our graph. If you look at the graph, A is the 30-year fixed rate mortgage, and in that kind of mortgage, the payment is the same every month for 30 years. It's the exact same thing. So the pink line is making this nice, smooth, constant, you know, uh, angle going up. And the green line is the adjustable rate one. It starts out cheaper than the pink one, but look, it ends up being more expensive. So it actually has a slight curve to it because it started out cheaper and then became more expensive, see? While the other one had a steady rate of change, all right? In the table, we show the mortgage years of 1, 5, 7, 10, and 30. These are X and these are Y, okay? And what I did was I took the slope formula the y values over the x values and found the change between them and I took my my y2 and subtracted my y1 and I took my x2 and subtracted my x1 and I found the slopes for the 30-year fixed mortgage A okay the pink one and all the slopes are the same look 5604 so the payments are the same we knew that and it's constant and it's linear because all these slopes are the same but in the adjustable rate mortgage, now we knew it was adjustable, and that means moving, right? Like you adjust a seat or you adjust something. All the slopes are different. They went from 4,900 4, something to 5,900 something to 5,000. It was all over the place, and it kept changing. So that wasn't constant. That's nonlinear, see? So that's comparing uh, linear versus nonlinear data. The linear is going to be nice and straight and smooth, and the nonlinear is going to move. It's going to adjust, okay? Now, if you're really, really confused, you need to go back to uh, this grade 8 math playlist, video number 3.2, to learn how to do slopes and the slope formula. And if you already know how to do that, but you don't understand about linear stuff, you need to go back to number 5.1 and start watching, because we're at 5.3e now, so that means we did A, B, C, D, E, just to learn about linear and nonlinear. And we had lessons before that at 5.1, okay? So you might want to go back to them. We're going to go on to chapter 6 now for our next video, and we're going to start talking about functions, okay? I hope this was helpful, and I hope I'll see you there. Bye.